Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Chloe and this is A Girl Like Me with Chloe M. Today's video is going to be an eyebrow shaping tutorial. So I am just out of the shower. I like to tweeze my eyebrows when my face is freshly cleansed so that the tweezers grab on a little bit easier. I am going to show you how I shape my eyebrows and then I will go ahead and fill them in and do all of that after. So if you want to know how I shape my eyebrows, keep on watching. Okay, so I zoomed you in nice and close so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. As you can see, I have not plucked my eyebrows in probably like a week. And this is what I get. So I'm, I still have a decent shape, but I have a lot of cleaning up to do. So I don't do this very often, but when I do, it helps me just reconstitute the shape of my eyebrow. So first what I'm gonna do is take a, first I'm gonna take a BK Beauty 208 angled brush and I'm gonna go in and use a concealer that's light to mark out my eyebrows. So, so just the rule of thumb for eyebrow shaping. I don't know who came up with it, but it seems to be what most people do. It's what I do at least. So I'm gonna take a, a brush and I'm gonna just hold it straight on my nose. And then at that point, I'm going to mark kind of right where it fell with a line of concealer. And this is gonna help you just guide your shape. And then I take the brush, cross my nose through my pupil. So you can see it's kind of right through the center of my pupil. So you're gonna put a little line there. And then I always go from here, kind of down, toward the lash line, you can see. So we'll just mark right where that is, okay? So then you have an idea of kind of what the arch is gonna look like under your brow. And then I will kind of do the same thing through my, eye, through my pupil here. And then place a dot where kind of the top of the arch should be. So as you see, my natural shape or the shape that I kind of maintain already follows this rule. But if you don't have like a already kind of shaped brow, you can do this, but I would recommend starting out a little bit bigger and working your way to a more precise shape. You don't wanna go too thin and have it look too thin because you can't go back from that. You can do too thick and just slowly take away. So now what I'm gonna do is just connect these lines. So that's to that one. And then you can follow that curve or just go straight down to that one. So again, this is just giving you a general guideline. And I'm using concealer and a, I'm using concealer and an angled brush here. But you can use like a white eye pencil. And then I'll start to draw the connection between these two here. There you go. So you have the base outline for your brows. So this again is a little easier if you have no shape at all to kind of see what the shape is gonna look like. For me, I just use this as a template for cleaning up. So I'm just gonna take this a little closer to the brows. So I'm just kind of refining that shape. And for this, I like to curve that top part down. This you this way you can really experiment with your brow shape and really see, okay, do I want more of a curved brow like I have? Do I want more of a straight brow? Do I want more of kind of an angled brow? This, I think if you don't have a really defined shape is a really great way to experiment with what shape will look good on your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side So 
So you can see that one I just rough sketched out. And now I'm gonna go back in and just bring it closer to the shape that I actually want it to be. And you can see here, I have similar brows. This one here has a little bit more of a kind of angular shape to it, just naturally. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna curve it a little bit more. See how I'm just bringing that closer to those hairs? Same with the arch. You can see I've kind of left quite a bit of space in there. So I'm gonna go in and bring the concealer closer to my actual brow shape that I want. So again, you can always start out with kind of just draw, like connect the dots, and then you can go in and bring the concealer closer to the hairs that you wanna pluck. And then I always kind of just double check in my mirror that my brows are looking similar. So now that we have our shape, so now that we have our shape, go ahead and let the concealer dry down. And then once the concealer is dry, we will begin plucking our hearts away. Okay, so now that the concealer has dried down, I'm gonna go ahead and start tweezing away. So for the center of my eyebrows, I have this little blade from Sephora that I just like to take it in between the brows. And it actually fits perfectly between my brows. I don't have much hair there because I've had laser done there. So I just do that quick and it takes that down. And then now I'm gonna just go in with my tweezers. So for this step, I would have, I have big pair of tweezers, a baby pair of tweezers, and a spoolie. So I'm just gonna, so basically everything that is on the concealer line or outside of it, I'm going to pluck. So I'm just gonna get plucking away and then I'll show you the results here in a moment. And as you pluck, the concealer starts to go away. So then you know what areas you have plucked and what areas you have not plucked. And then for all the baby fine hairs, I'm gonna take my tiny little pair of tweezers and get those bad boys. Okay, so that is the bottom done. For the top, I like to keep my the top of my brows pretty much unplucked, except for stray hairs. I like to keep the top look a little more bushy because then I can brush it up and they can look still a little more natural even though the bottom of there is pretty defined. So I'm just gonna do some cleanup of the shape. Okay. So then most of the time some people have like this just little patch of hair where their brows and their actual hair can connect. So I just take my little blade and I just gently bring it to just the outside of that concealer line. So then it's nice and smooth. You can do the same with tweezers if you want. I just find that's faster. So I'm gonna do this side and then I'm gonna come back and we'll take the concealer off and see what we have.
Okay, so I have plucked most everything. I have this cowlick here that I just don't mess with that much anymore. I used to try to correct it. It just stays the way it is, and that's the way my eyebrows are. They are sisters, not twins. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the concealer with my makeup eraser. Actually looks pretty good. So the concealer trick is just to get a general shape. Once you've wiped the concealer off, you can clean up any stray hairs that you see. See, like there's this whole, like one, two, few hairs here that I missed. So, but I have a general shape now so that I can follow. These little Sephora baby tweezers are so sharp. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a spoolie, go through my eyebrows, and if this were nighttime, I would put on my castor oil in my brows and my eyelashes, but it's not, so what I'll do is I will moisturize quick, just where I plucked, and then that is that. Okay, so those are my eyebrows plucked, shaped, nice and tight. Um, now I need to just put a little bit of product in them before I do my makeup. So I put on my face cream like I normally would. I put on my eye cream and after I plucked, I put on my eye cream to the areas that I plucked. I don't like to do my skincare around my eyes before I pluck because I find it makes it a little more difficult to tweeze. Okay, so now I am going to take my Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the color Grind and I'm just gonna take all of that through my brows just very lightly. And I like to just do light flicks through the front and then just intensify it just a little bit more as I go back. Okay. And then I like to take my spoolie and just run it through just to make it look a little fuller. Doing that too can sometimes help um, fill any gaps that you have. Like I have a gap right here, so I'll just take that and press it down a little bit more. I like to brush my hairs up just so that they look a little more bushy, more Cara de la Vigne. And then I will go in with my Benefit 24 Hour Clear Brow Gel. This holds my brows like nobody's business. I've not found a clear brow gel yet that holds them as long as this does. I just brush these up. And then I just like to kind of make the end of my brow a little bit sharper. So I'll put extra product and just kind of point it out just a bit. So those are my brows tweezed and really product in everything except obviously face makeup and everything on but that is just a basic way to shape your eyebrows really great way to experiment with different eyebrow shapes um, because that lighter concealer or that white pencil will really kind of contrast from what your actual eyebrow hairs look like so that you get a better idea of how the different eyebrow shapes will work on you i kind of just have a kind of a natural curve nothing too severe or arched 
Um, I used to do pretty straight brows, but I kind of like a little bit of a curve still. Remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I have not met a single person yet who can get their eyebrows completely symmetrical and even. And your face is not completely symmetrical or even, so don't beat yourself up if your eyebrows aren't perfectly the same, because mine certainly aren't, and I love them anyway. So thank you all for watching. If this was helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time, and until then, 